Hey guys, so um, today is Sunday and welcome to a new vlog if I didn't say that. <laughs> welcome to a new vlog, please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and join the family of course. Today is Sunday and we are off to the Paula event, Paula, PH, PH's event called Paula. So that's the event we are off to, my sister and I got the tickets, we are looking good like a pink two-piece set with a uh, top under for the event and yeah that's pretty much how i'm looking like for the day um just need to spray over one more time so yeah um i actually wanna i think i'm just gonna do a vlog for the first part of this like pretty um uh, cameras are not allowed so i'm not going to take my camera with me i think i'm just going to vlog on my phone and then keep it moving keep it moving so um i don't know like my phone lately can take so much space i'm not sure if it's because of the software update or if it's because like so basically at work guys i gave this other guy wako it like my phone so that he can um connect me to all the like basically get everything for the workplace like on my phone that i need that everyone has already because i'm the new edition um so i gave this guy my phone and i don't know like when it got back in jail like all the other apps that were there like suddenly became on my phone like apps that i deleted long time ago were suddenly back on my phone again so i'm not quite sure if he did something that makes my phone like or if it's the software update because i only updated my software after like immediately after he had my phone so i'm not quite sure which is which but yeah i need to put my sneakers on and get the step in and vlog on my phone but my phone the battery life on my phone guys is whack it's the wackest thing ever so like i'm just really trying to get a new phone hopefully i can get a new phone by june i can't give you guys like a specific time period because i also want to travel this year and i have a lot of savings to do for other stuff so like a phone is not like a need but i kind of need it for like content creation and days like this where i can't take my camera with me so we'll see what we can do and what we can fit in if i can squeeze a phone in that would be great if i do handle my finances quite well then i can squeeze a phone in anyways bye guys we'll, we'll talk later alligator and yeah i just need to clear up my phone and get ready for the day so going to 12 and i just got home on a sunday i am waking up tomorrow this week i really would have loved to take sick but i don't have that privilege because we have an audit happening and for me if i have to take sick or leave it's a complicated process can't do none of that anyways bye guys thank you so much for watching see you guys another time or in the next vlog i don't know we'll see we'll the next day well, this is gonna be the shortest video ever because one lack of storage two i just come back from work i'm tired as you can see three is very late <laughs> three i just really want to do a quick video and i don't know if i'm going to post this video separately or together whatever but this is basically my life update right so so basically what happened is in my previous vlogs i was telling you guys how the craziest thing happened to me when i just got back home i think this is two vlogs away i'm not quite sure i'll put the card above of what i'm talking about but i pretty much spoke about how i got an offer right when i got back home and that's pretty much the job that i'm doing 
right and i think i've cheated about this so if you do follow me on twitter i don't think this will come off as a shock yo that sound system made it sound like an earthquake long story cut short i'm just really going to explain everything in detail and keep it there so on the 23rd i pretty much tweeted i'm going to put the tweet on the screen and it's obviously going to be a long time before you guys even watch the video i mean this video is obviously going to come out way later because i'm still having problems like with my laptop and stuff like that so can't really edit so i'm just going to try and just when we get back into everything then everything is just gonna flow so well, this pondo makes my head look be at the long story short so basically i started this new job and i was just pretty much very grateful to god you know that one i am actually working in like my field of study because i think that's one thing that really happens but two it's not something that comes off as a shock for me because i felt like god has been preparing me for this moment like i never wanted to be what i am guys to be honest with you guys i never wanted to be this and i think god just took his time with me last year when i told you guys that i had an encounter with god i think i was just running away from my calling because i feel like this is what god has called me to do and i just kept running away from it because i never wanted to do it i didn't <laughs> I didn't and now like the time has come where god was just like you know what dude this is the starting point so i think i'm just very grateful for the opportunity that god has granted me with and i get to start here and learn everything you know learn everything and more um so basically i work in finance slash accounting for those who don't know and um yeah i just am the recent addition to the team to the team at this organization that i work in basically i got this offer i just really want to speak about this quite quickly i got this offer i started working um currently as you watch this video like currently as i'm recording this it is my third week there right it's my third week and i worked seven days there on the seventh day i submitted my resignation letter and i tweeted about it so if you follow me on twitter this won't come off as a shock but i submitted my resignation letter very early in the morning like i got to work very early waited for hr and i was just like this is it i am leaving the company officially and i just really want to say that i just never understood that you know like i've been there for such a short period of time and i was like you know what god i don't understand bro like you're not boy but i just don't understand you know i was just like god why would you send me to a place for such a short period of time because the thing is i wouldn't even say guys that like the job wasn't for me or anything what i'm saying is that i think i just keep asking god like why would i be there for such a short period of time yes i know i submitted the resignation letter yes i know it might not make sense but i was just there like man i don't understand why would i be there for such a short period of time not that they fired me but like you know like i i though i was the one who just drafted my resignation i was like let's do this and the thing is guys i did that because this year i told myself that i'm working by faith and not by sight and i just said that you know what dude i think because of my walk with god i've really seen i've seen god and i've known god and i've seen how mighty god is i've seen it and i was just like you know what like if it was me i would have loved to stay here but like i think like my spirit is just like i want to be where god is or where god takes me not that god isn't here but i just want to be where god takes me and um i made an oath to myself guys like working with god you just have a lot of risks it's a risk like not a risk but it's a thing of like you just gonna it's a, certain things that god would require you to do are so impractical i can't even explain it but it's just like it never makes sense and now that i'm here i'm just like you know what man I was just like you know what man god you know what do you know what um yeah i was just like god you know what um i'm just gonna have to like resign and see it through you know what i mean anyways this is not me condoning anyone to resign guys please don't resign Yo, i'm so tired of saying this please don't resign like my a word that was for me is not your word you're gonna drown don't do it nonetheless i'm not even condoning anyone i'm not gonna say much but all i just want to say is that i just never understood why god sent me here until last week friday last week friday guys i have this colleague he's in my team the only guy in my team actually He's been giving me such solid advice and they call him and basically like he's just a man who loves god you know like fully 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 like he's just into god like you know and i love that but he just kept 
every single day i come to work he gives me like solid advice about things that i never thought of like guys i'm such a strategic person like i can't even explain it but i'm a person who moves with precision i make calculated moves that's me i just never make a decision jay it's just that this time life caught me off guard <laughs> that's the only difference life caught me off guard this time he's been giving me solid advice ever since like each and every single day he tells me that you know what dude you're still young you know like wherever you end up ask them to put you here and not there you know like do this don't do that if you're ever given a choice choose this and don't choose that and he's been giving me valuable advice about things that i never thought of when it comes to my career and he was just like you know what dude because obviously he's a bit older than me he's not a bit he's older than me <laughs> He's like older than me, like a married man, you know, like older than me. I don't know how old, but he's older than me. Uh, I'm obviously the youngest in my team, to be honest. Yeah, I'm the youngest in my team, the only addition to the team. And I think this man was just telling me, because we obviously studied the same thing. We both went to UJ, both studied accounting at UJ. And we just really laughed at it because he was just asking me, like, are things still, you know, no, they like your friend, like UJ uj was a hectic chapter like heavy one and it just makes me laugh that it's been hectic for all of us not just me like it made sense for me to be here because i felt like i prayed for divine connections this year guys i think i started my i don't know i've been talking a lot but i started this vlog with that that i was praying for divine connections this year and having people that i can lean on but those people that i lean on i wanted them to be deeply rooted in god that was not up for discussion and it's so crazy how God actually answered a prayer without me. I only realized it now. It's so crazy how God answers prayers in a way that you'd never think. I kept praying for divine connections and God said, you know what? I need you to start there before you go somewhere else. You have to meet these people. They have to prepare you for your next chapter. <sighs> but man, what more can I do? You know, like I'm really trusting God this year, guys. I'm living off two scriptures in this present moment. One keep your eyes on the lord and not on earthly things to think the second scripture is um what is it oh seek the kingdom not seek the kingdom of the lord and all things shall be added unto you and i think that is why like i keep making such bold and courageous moves without even worrying that much because <sighs> i've been with god so much guys like i've walked with god and i know you know like no one can ever like even when people were bashing me on twitter like i just never even cared because i was just like not everyone is gonna understand not everyone is gonna see things the way that i do not everyone is gonna feel things the way that i do <sighs> not everyone you know and yeah like someone in my comments actually explained it quite well and he said these are like divine provocations or something like that i think i'll put the comments on the screen or something but yeah um it's just crazy how god really leads us through the spirit and i think i'm just so grateful for this wonderful opportunity but i just had to leave this organization it just felt like such a short-lived thing i had to make the decision it was a quick thing quick fast in a hurry and the crazy part is that i had a um my contract stipulated that i have a one month notice and i didn't even reach a month in the organization seven days in i just drafted the letter and i was like i'm out gotta do this don't resign you will drown pray about things first see confirmation from god and don't think this is your confirmation okay you will drown and i don't want guys people are so gullible on social media oh my gosh like it annoys me so much that's why i keep saying this like <sighs> but jay this year like i think i'm really not stressed much about anything i really want to be where god wants me to be and where god is sending me like i want to be where god is not that he didn't send me here but i feel like this was the starting chapter like you had to be there before you go elsewhere because the things that people are telling me here things that i never thought of guys like the knowledge and the wisdom that i get from these people here i don't think i would have gotten it elsewhere like it's things that i never even thought of but do you need to think about this you need to start considering this you need to think like which area of accounting you want to specialize in like i made up my mind i was like i want to be a tax account okay to be honest i wanted to be a tax practitioner and work for SARS but one eternity later oh my voice is going away so today I had team building at work and we were running all over the place I forgot my asthma pump at home and that's why I like my voice sounds the way it sounds because I've been running and it feels like my throat is burning um, I need to record this quickly 
so today is friday and i came back from team building might insert some videos there if you follow me on tiktok then surely you would have seen this by now i uh, went to Gold city it was very fun <laughs> love that should i say early like we had a no work day which is amazing um then today um, i'm about to leave it's my aunt's birthday so i'm going to go to my grandparents place tomorrow today i'm going to be sleeping over in my sister's place that's what i'm about to do but before i go there we're probably gonna go to tokyo jeju um later on today and then i'm planning on going to get a new iphone that's what i'm going to do right now <laughs> i understand how my battery got low bro i don't get it my battery just became low out of nowhere Gosh, okay, anyways, I'm going to I store in clear water right now to go get a new phone. I'm planning on getting the iPhone 11. I wanted like a Pro Max, but I wasn't sure. I didn't know that it was discontinued until I started searching because I'm like, I need a phone um, for content and stuff like that because you know how I do. So, yeah. Um, so, I was planning on getting like the covers and stuff because I'm a person who's of unbeliever with like anything that you get, you need to prepare for it. So that's what I was doing. Like I got a cover, I got a screen freaking protector and it came to my house shattered. So I need to buy a new screen protector. I got the back loss protector and the other stuff. Camera cover, camera phone cover. And yeah, I just need a screen protector basically because the one that I got, got to my crib broken as if. Yeah, above all, just bonus maga dear. Like I feel like guys, like you guys don't understand when I'm able to afford to get myself stuff because I only get myself stuff. <sighs> it's well to be a trust fund baby, but <laughs> when I afford to just get myself these things, like I'm just like God, I'm grateful because boy, was I not broke when things began. I'm also having like a severe breakout, and I don't know why. Mm -hmm. 